Hey, it's Andrzej Krzywda speaking. Uh, today I was watching some chess games online because uh, now this week we have a World Team Championship, women and women men, and I found some positions which I wanted, which I found interesting, and I wanted to share them with you. So here is a game between Jolanta Zawadzka, a grandmaster from Poland, and Bela Kotenashvili. And I was following this game because I was really interested how Yolanta will play this position. Uh, this kind of position seems to be very equal, like almost the pawns are almost symmetrical. Maybe the c4 pawn will be a weakness, uh, but all the pieces seem to be quite active on both sides. Maybe this rook will activate later. So I was wondering, this is the kind of position which I struggle with, like how can I improve white's position with, when I play white? You, you gotta play some moves and it's not really that clear to me what would I play here. So I was interested to see what, what Yolanta comes up with. And she started with improving the pieces very slowly and I really enjoyed the way she did that because this taught me like how to improve this. So rook e3 uh, is the first move here, which is improving the position of the rook. It defends, over defends the knight just in case. Now the queen will be able to move somewhere else um, and still everything holds together so the, the pieces are nicely consolidated. Black goes h6 so the black just tries to improve the maybe the problem of the eighth rank. Mm. King h2 so this is the same what white is doing maybe have to avoid any kind of checks here so slowly improving the position of pieces. You know, this is a little bit better than it was. Uh, black goes back which is, again, pieces are consolidated here, nothing really is, uh, is that equal still. And now, you know, again, improving by a small thing, moving your pieces a little bit more active. So on e5 is slightly more active. However, maybe what is now threatening is bishop e2 and bishop c4. Obviously, black can easily defend from that. But still, it's a nice improvement. Queen d7 and bishop e2. There are now two things. One is that... Mm, white can prepare some maybe queen f4 and some threat on c4. Obviously, it's easy to defend, but always it's better to be the side who puts the pressure instead of uh, the one defending. But also the other other idea is to have this pawn move to e f4, and also maybe in some positions rook can rook can go to g3. So suddenly we are creating some new possibilities in the position, and black has to spend some time like thinking, preparing. And wondering how to you know, defend against that, and on the other, and also black doesn't really, it's not really able to create a similar kind of improvement. So rook c8, a defensive move, f4. So we are now bringing the pieces, uh, bringing this uh, pawn to be more active. Now we con are controlling more uh, pieces. Obviously, in long term, we did weaken the g3 and e3. Mm, so that's uh, you know double edge move. Queen c7 and bishop f3. So bishop is improving and taking here rook e5 e uh, e and then rook a5 and we are now be getting some new ideas in the position. Still, it's totally equal, but we are a little bit better now. Queen c5, so black does the same, improving the position. And now, now is the first move which I wasn't sure about. Um, because knight b5 does this looks a little bit, you know, it, it, it does look a bit more active, but on the other hand, it wasn't clear to me where, where it goes. Maybe if, we, if it was possible to play knight d4 later, then maybe that would be nice. But uh, somehow Yolanta connected this idea with a4. So uh, until this part, I think maybe rook e2 would be a nice move, just not to have this rook uh, uh, hanging in some cases. Mm, so, so that was like one idea. Now we have. You know, some imp some improvements here, but now black also d does get some active play, and the uh, e a pawn is also can can be a weakness here. But now, okay, now now is it th now is the end. So here we can see like until this moment that white shifted the pieces like one rank above. So if we compare it to the position from here, it was like everything was a bit at the bottom of the board, and now it was a little bit up, which is uh, not always best, but here. It seems to be slight improvements. So this is where, where the story ends, but uh, unfortunately for the game and for Yolanta and for the Polish team, uh, she made a terrible blunder here. Uh, she played queen d4, you know, after 1 minute and 37 seconds of thinking, 
and she blundered the knight. So that's it from this position.